Good day class. Welcome to so third lesson natin sa Earth Science. Today we will have an introduction about minerals. Let's start with the definition of minerals. So minerals are naturally occurring in organic solids of one or more elements that have a definite compos chemical composition with an orderly internal arrangement of atoms. Gusto kong tandaan nyo dyan, sa definition na yan ay itong mga phrases na ito. Yan. Definition, we can derive the criteria set for an object to be classified as a mineral. First one, it should be naturally occurring, meaning walang human interaction for it to form. Another thing, it should be inorganic in a sense that no materials ang nanggaling sa living organisms para mabuo ito. Um, it should be solid. If something is liquid in natural form, there, there is a great chance na hindi ito mineral. And its chemical composition will stay or will not easily change even after being exposed to heat or other processes. And last one, orderly arrangement of atoms. Um, kapag tinignan mo yung atoms nila, if you look closer to the atoms of a mineral, you can see the orderly patterns of its atoms. So for us to understand this better, let's go to the next one. For us to understand it better, let us compare glass and quartz. Take note that both glass and quartz have the same chemical composition. They are made up of silicon and oxygen atoms. So, quartz is naturally occurring, glass is not. Kailangan ng human intervention para makakreate ng glass. Another thing, both are inorganic, both are solid. Um, they all or both quartz and glass have a definite chemical composition, SiO2 even after heating. However, quartz have an orderly arrangement of atoms, while glass, as you can see there, does not have an orderly arrangement of atoms. You cannot see any patterns with the arrangement of the atoms of your glass. So we can say here now, we can easily uh, we can obviously say that quartz is a mineral because it met all the set criteria that we have and glass is not a mineral because it is not naturally occurring and it does not have an orderly arrangement of atoms. Next example is this one, coal. So coal, is it a mineral or not a mineral? I'll give you three seconds to think. Okay, so technically, coal came from organic materials, which we can say it is not a mineral. Now, let's have another definition of minerals. Minerals are also considered as building blocks of rocks. Let's take a look in this example. This is a picture of granite. So in this illustration, you can see that the material that makes up granite is different from each other. Madali nating masasabi na iba-iba sila ng kulay by just looking on it. So you can see there that you have quartz, this one. Yung medyo crystal-like looking, medyo transparent. Mica, this one. Brownish yung kulay niya. This one is also mica. There. And this is horn blend. The black grains. And you also have feldspar. Feldspar is white or pink. So these are technically minerals. Horn blend, mica, feldspar, and quartz are technically minerals. In the same thing, may kita mo rin sa iba't ibang rocks na iba-iba yung composition nito. Iba-iba yung mga materials na makita mo sa rocks na ito. Which we can say that they are made up of different minerals. 
So these are the common rock forming minerals. You have feldspar, quartz, pyroxenes, amphibos, micas, clay, olivine, and calcite. Now they are called rock forming minerals because they are the most abundant minerals in the Earth's crust. So, nung nabubuo yung planeta natin, yung crust natin, they are also the minerals present in the crust. And, another thing why they are called as rock-forming minerals, because we can use them to classify the rock or the type of the rock what that we have one example is calcite if there is a presence of calcite in any rock you can easily say that this could be a sedimentary rock so other things you have pyroxene and amphibose they are more related to igneous rock and metamorphic rocks go with your mineral groups. The first group is silicates. So almost 96% of the earth's crust is made up of silicates. So on chemical composition and silicate I SiO2 meaning you have one silicon atom paired with two um, oxygen atoms. Of silicates are quartz and albite. So as you can see with their chemical composition, madali mo makita na merong silicon and oxygen compounds sa kanilang composition. So quartz, chemical composition is SiO2 and for your albite, um, you have silicon and oxygen combined with sodium. Next one is halides. Halides are minerals with chlorine and fluorine combined with sodium, potassium, or calcium. Examples of them are halides or halite. Uh, this is rock salt and ACL and fluoride, CaF2, calcium and fluor fluorine combined. Carbonate naman, CO3, ang kanyang chemical composition. Ang tawag sa natin sa kanila, carbonate. E examples, you have your malachite and calcite. So, again, madali mong makikita yung kanyang defining characteristic. Yung CO3 combined with other elements. Next, you have your sulfates. So these are the minerals with sulfate or sulfur plus four oxygen atoms. Examples of sulfate, you will have anhydrite and gypsum. You can easily see the SO4 there. So we can say that these are sulfates. Next, sulfide naman, you have a sulfur combined with one or more element. Examples, you have your pyrite, two atoms of sulfur combined with iron, and you also have galena, lead, and sulfur. You also have oxides, next group. Um, these are minerals which contain oxygen that are bonded to element other than silicon. Kasi Si is for silicates. Ito namang oxides natin ay para lang sa oxygen bonded with other elements. Examples? You have your hematite, Fe2O3, and magnetite, Fe3O4. Last mineral group is your native elements. So these are the minerals made up of pure elements. There is no mixture 
of several elements. So you can only found one element. Example is examples are gold and copper. Thank you. That's it for this video. Next lesson, we will be discussing about the properties of minerals and how it is used to identify them.